Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two as Art Kirch and I review another film from Gracie's VintageFilmChannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Um, and Art has picked a real winner today. Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's call it what it is, but I'm going to be a little bit kind. Uh, at best, it's a stinker. <laughs> if they can't, they can't all be winners. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> if if there were B movies, uh, this certainly would fit into that genre. And this was okay, actually. Give us the name. Give oh, us the name and what uh, you know about it. I'll I'll name the murderer. And uh, speaking of murder, uh, this um, this. Well, actually, there is, like everything that is on the Vintage Film Channel, there's a value in it. And even though, as I said, this is a stinker, I'll name the murderer with absolutely nobody in the cast that you would know, even if you were related to them, you probably <laughs> wouldn't have admitted You'd want to, to forget it. them. Right. <laughs> uh, but the interesting thing about this, uh, it was 1936. Uh, it was uh, produced by a guy named uh, Sam Katzman who right. was one of the people in the industry who did this kind of stuff, but then went on eventually not ever to be um, uh, like super amazing uh, uh, Spielberg or uh, uh, anybody really famous, but he, he, did, Sam he, did, he, he was Sam Katzman. He did East Side Kids. He, yeah. had, he was a good friend of uh, Shemp. Who was uh, one of the three Stooges? If I'm not mistaken, did you tell me earlier that he was part of Monogram Pictures? Yeah, he was. Uh, after Puritan, he became part of Monogram. In fact, yeah. he may have founded that. Uh, he also will, uh, worked for Columbia, so he was yeah. he was a working professional. He had his fingers in a lot of pots. He was in distribution. Uh, he made films just to get them out there as as a second feature. And things well, like that. that's what this. That, let's face it, that's what this is. Right. It's 1936. It's the era when you'd go to the movies and you'd have a cartoon, a newsreel, right. a B feature, which is what this was, even though you don't consider it good enough to be B. Right. A B feature and then a, and then the main feature, you know, the road show. Right. So this was a this was oh. a knockoff. If you look at it, why don't you run it? Yeah. It runs it. I was going to run it so that we'd have something pretty to look at. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you mean it gets worse? Right. Well, it it, uh, it runs only a minute, uh, pardon me, an hour and seven minutes or right. so, which today is the length of a one-hour TV show. So this was not, there was no intention to make this a big 90-minute or two-hour extravaganza. This is a quick knockoff. It's a mis murder mystery. They're popular. Uh, and by the, by and, the way, uh, I, I defy anybody to know who any of these people are, and send us a note. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, me, it doesn't let, matter. Let me, let, me get, let me get into it. There's a pretty girl. There are a whole bunch of yeah. pretty girls. Uh, there is the uh, the star who's a who's an ace reporter. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, th this is, again, one of the um, uh, kinds of movies that Gracie has saved from the uh, uh, garbage heap. She yeah. restored it, and it's really... Uh, it, it looks I mean, pretty look, good. Look, at, look how good it is. Uh, yeah. Trust me, it didn't start out this way for her. Um, and it is a complete... I actually watched the whole thing. Uh, a, because probably it was a glutton for punishment. But on the other side, it, it, it is a complete story. It sure. has a conclusion. Uh, and it's a bit of a twist. Not a, not a big twist. But I think that if you're a movie buff, this is a perfect example of one of those intermediate films that wasn't terrible, terrible, terrible. It was awful, but not terrible, 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 which would be a triple <laughs> awful. Uh, but it was very typical of the kinds of things you find in the movies. And in its day, yeah. it probably was considered to be fairly decent as a second movie. Uh, as I say, a complete story, uh, developed characters, uh, and uh wonderfully restored uh including whether it be uh, just from the imagery or the uh sound so 
this is the kind of thing where you can watch somebody. And if you research the background of the directors and the producers, they all went on to make fairly well-known stuff in their futures. And this was like a step along uh, a way of like, uh, we did, I don't know whether we've even aired it yet, but we did an early Capra film a couple of weeks yeah. ago. And again, yeah. that was not his best offering, but it was, you could see how he would, and, and appreciate how he would later develop into a greater talent. Well, let's, let's not, let's not sully this review with the name Frank Capra, because oh, yeah, no. it never, nothing it's it's never gonna get that the, the level of attention right. of it's, a Frank Capra. Okay? Never going to get that good. But look, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's a B movie from 1936. It's saved from the dustbin by Gracie and uh, Vintage Film Channel. And you know what? It, it kind of has a historical uh, value to it. It's fun to watch, even if you don't watch. And for the a super low budget movie, okay, they must have found three or four rooms someplace and they just shot the hell out of them. Okay, because <laughs> the actually the production value for, you could tell it's three or four rooms shot from different angles. Yeah. And uh, uh, actually, it, it wasn't, technically, it probably wasn't such a bad movie. No, it, it's it. You know what? It's a good example of a B movie. Right. Uh, it's not complicated. It's not long. The acting is uh, sufficient, and the people the, are uh, the people are kind of pretty. The, yeah. Well, so some of them are. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are. So, next time we'll we'll review something a little more fun. Okay. Okay. But actually, if if you like movies and you like old movies, this it, it's nice to have this in the collection of movies that you can find on Vintage Film Channel, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. This isn't the ugliest. I'm sure we'll find another stinker in there. But uh, this was, uh, it's, it's not even made for TV. Good. Although if it was if they if they put it on TV and they put it in an hour, at least you'd be able to pull out twenty minutes worth of stuff, so you could put commercials in there. So that might you be know, Art. The longer you talk, the longer you talk about this movie, you're almost forgiving it. No, you no, gotta, no, no, we got to stop. I'm trying. I'm tr trying to make it exciting so people. Will yeah, we got to stop before you start telling us that it's a good movie. Okay. Okay. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.